600 feet. Arrive at Screaming Chicken Saloon. Arriving at Screaming Chicken Saloon. Oh, wow. But he's aware Golf Cart 3 may or may not have been charged enough. It was not. It is, I guess, stuck behind the big pool, the main pool. So I have the key and it needs to be charged and brought down. There's only two cars. I said I'll check it on, on it after I'm done here uh, with this other situation. Great. Thank you so much, Jason V. Only two cars. My goodness. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, brother? Well, folks, this bar ain't big enough for the three of us, so somebody's gonna have to leave. And I guess it better be me. How you doing, young lady? Mario. That's for you. Please read it, it's very important. Okay, thank you. All right, how you doing? I love you, man. You take care, have an awesome weekend. That was easy. All right. It's always wise to videotape your contacts inside bars, folks. That way you won't be accused of sitting with them, blending in with them, and acting like the world, making friends with the world, which is enmity with Christ, it says in James chapter 4. Uh, to be a friendship with the world is an enmity with God. It says twice in James chapter 4, uh, verses 4 through 5. Um, and Jesus said that if you love the things of this world, the love of the Father is not in you. So you don't ever want to be accused of being worldly when you're evangelism. So my suggestion is always videotape the entrance and the exit and let the tape be unedited. Besides that, what if a, a Christian driving down the street, not in the bar, saw you leaving the bar? or your pastor. The bottom line is God always knows. So uh, be above reproach and hold yourself accountable. If you don't have a partner to evangel evangelize with, then uh, do so with uh, a video camera. Uh, Lord bless you guys and take care.